Whether you're a streamer or you just want to up your productivity, the Stream Deck is a great gadget to have. But do you know that you can also use it as a controller for games? My name is Yadullah, you're watching Candidate Technology and in this video we're going to do just that. So games don't natively support the Stream Deck or at least none of the games that I have played do. So what we're going to do instead is we are going to leverage the profiles option in Stream Deck software to make sure that we can double our Stream Deck as a controller. So just click on the Stream Deck icon in your system tray right here. And as you can see, uh, it has my OBS profile running currently because I'm recording a video. But what we are going to do is uh, click on this section where the profile name is and then click on new profile. Now this profile will give you eight buttons on your Stream Deck to do whatever you want with them. Uh, and one more thing that you can do is so let's just first quickly assign buttons to it right so you control different things in game with different keystrokes on your system so let's say uh, if i want to have a hot key switch or if i just want text so if you just want a simple key input what you can do is that you can assign text buttons to all of these empty icons and then in text you can go ahead and type in whatever your keybind is so let's say i want to use uh, this key as my grenade key uh, in spectre divide so in the text section i will add whatever the ability for my grenade is in this case it's going to be x i believe Oh no, wait, sorry, that's T. And uh, that's it. I can give it a title so I know what key this is. I can go ahead and even change its icon just to make sure that it's visible. Uh, let's give it a controller. Yeah, and that's it. So now every time I press this button, uh, it registers T as the input, which means I can use this to throw grenades uh, at enemies in game and uh, that's pretty much how simple it is setting up a profile so uh, let's say i want to use something else you can uh, essentially use the windows character map and uh, just pick any character you want from here put them in here and then make the necessary assignments in your game once you're done setting the profile up, what you can also do is that you can tie this profile to your individual game so that it automatically comes on once you launch your game. So to do this, go ahead and press preferences, then head over to profiles and then find whatever profile you want to use. So in, this is the profile that we just made and uh, in front of it, you will see an application drop down. So open it. Um, it will show you a couple of applications that OBS supports out of the box. Your game will most probably not be in it. So we're going to go ahead and click on other. And now you can just navigate to wherever your game is installed. So for example, I have uh, Epic Games, Xbox Games. Where is my Steam library? Right here. Steam apps, common. Let's say I want to use it for Spectre Divide. Yeah, right. So I would go to binaries, Win64, um, uh, this would be my Spectre clients and I would click open. So now as soon as I launch Spectre Divide, this profile will automatically kick in. And then of course, as soon as I close the program, I will be able to go back to my profile. Now, uh, there are different profile behaviors in Stream Deck, which requires you to set something as a default profile if you don't set an application specific one. What you can quickly do to get rid of this is to just take one button and assign a multi-action key to it. And now we want to do multiple actions here. So what I want to do is I want it to just switch the profile here One when I press this button. So I want it to switch to my default profile, page number one, and I can call it exit. You can also uh, close the game with it so if I were to let's say close put close in here move that um, and then you can put in your games path here 
so when you press this button if i can go back so when you press this button it will quit your game and automatically go back to your default profile for example if i press this as you can see i'm now back in my default profile and that's how easy it is to set up your stream deck to play games if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you in the next video